We set off early morning for St. Matia Mlumba Parish in Nakauka, Wachisu District. Our focus though is not to report about the mass, but the aftermath, what the priests do thereafter. Catholic priests are celibate, so they don't have their own families. They live with peers, but play a key role in the Christmas celebrations, which is mainly a family affair. We find St. Matia Mulumba Parish priest, the Reverend Father Francis Xavier Mayinja, preparing for breakfast. We also partake of the morning meal. We then join him in welcoming the brethren who had come for mass that he would lead. The priest then wears the ceremonial garments for the mass and we later join him again in church. <laughs> As he delivers his homily, Father Mainja engages his congregation. After this mass, we head to Sakabusolo village where the priest has another mass to celebrate. In the background is St. Chisito Choir Sakabusolo Parish. Those are some of the hymns that have been sung in the when Reverend Father Mainja was celebrating Mass. Right now, he's going to head back to Nakauka to see how to spend the rest of the Christmas day. After all is done, we return home. Lunch is ready. Some of the people at the table are guests and neighbors who give the two priests in this homestead company. The business of the parish is never discussed at this table. Father Mainja later walked us down his journey on such a day, which is special on the Catholic Church calendar. The day of celebrating that Christ, that birthday of the Lord Jesus Christ, and celebrating a birthday is also participating in something which is very, very vital in our lives. But it can be tiresome. After Masses, we are tired and hungry. So lunch usually follows immediately, and then the time of relaxation. Father Mainja sometimes uses this day to visit friends and the sick. We go and give out Holy Communion to these uh, elderly people, or these sick people, who cannot walk to church. When the people leave, the two priests find other things to while away their time. By the time we left, the priest was preparing to go to watch the final game of the annual village Christmas football tournament. Solomon Kawesa, NTV. <laughs>